Hey everybody, this is Adam with The Game Machine, bringing you a very troubling video. I don't usually like to talk about this stuff, and if people decide to unsubscribe, not hit that notification bell, and share if they like the content, then that's fine. They don't have to subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell down at the bottom corner. It's right down below. Anyway, you don't have to do that. In fact, if you just want to unfollow, unsubscribe for my Twitter, which is Game Machine TV, that's fine. But I've come to bring some troubling news. It seems that I have been plagiarized. I, too, am a victim. There was some other YouTuber that was apparently a victim of plagiarism. I don't remember the name. Not important. I'm important. But, I mean, if you don't think I'm important, that's fine. But I I'm definitely important. I've come to show you that someone who I trust as a friend... Justin slash JPC, who is also a slightly bigger channel than I am, has ripped me off. A few years ago, I did a Metal Gear Rising Revengeance review. A year later, he did a review of the same one. Sure, it's the PC version. Sure, it's three minutes. But you will see, he copied the video verbatim. I don't know what that word even means, but it sounded really important and it sounded like it would make me sound really fucking smart so i'm going to go ahead and show you these examples here you be the judge for yourself make sure to comment hit the notification bell and subscribe i mean you don't have to but you know it's whatever let's roll the footage What happens when you take the most popular stealth series and give it to Platinum Games? You get Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Is it awesome, or should it just sneak away? Find out as the game machine starts now. Is this your rules of nature? Or is this your rules of nature? That is right, folks. Platinum Games and Konami have brought to you Metal Gear Rising Revengeance out on the PC. Coming out almost a year later, is this port worth a damn? Should you pick it up and slice and dice your way into a million baddies into two, one, five, nine pieces? Too many to count. The boss encounters where you'll be killing some giant mechs and cyborgs in flashy, over the top ways. Oh, and really violent ways, too. It also has some pretty interesting stages, one of them being like a Japanese-themed garden. Of 2013 and now 2014. It is so great to see this get a PC release. Granted, it was released previously on PS3 and Xbox 360. Now, it is in... The audio, the voice acting is well done and quite enjoyable. The soundtrack for Rising features electronic rock that is very fast-paced and fits really well in the game. And it gets the blood pumping for some action to an awesome, awesome soundtrack. I gotta say, Metal Gear Rising is one of my favorite games of all time. It is highly replayable, it is entertaining, it is funny, it is graphic, and it is just so satisfying to kick the ass of these soldiers and these robots and hear the metal soundtrack. With all that said, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is an amazing experience. Entertaining story, great presentation, and challenging but fun gameplay makes this worth it. I cannot praise Metal Gear Rising enough. I have done a review already on it for the consoles. And look at the response this guy did on Twitter. OMG, can you believe that guy? <sighs> Seriously, you make me sick, you son of a bitch. And I hope your ass rots. Yeah. As you can see, clearly, this is just me being a troll. <laughs> but, I mean, in seriousness, though, I want to bring this topic to light because I think there's just too much toxicity in the community, and people are looking to gain advantages in YouTube. I'd love my channel to grow, but be honest with you guys, it's not worth the toxicity, it's not worth the fighting, and normally I would not do a video like this, but... And honestly, I just wanted to express my opinion on how silly and stupid this all is, and that... If that person that I'm doing this video about is watching, I'm not going to name your name. Sorry. I don't feel you deserve the attention for it. But, come on. 
it's obviously not plagiarism. Plagiarism means that he copied literally everything word for word, he had a similar opinion, and most likely looked up the same research that you did. So, even if he did see your video, he didn't exactly copy you. So, if anything, my best thing to do is just retract your video, apologize, like, I've seen your content, you have a lot to offer, but creating drama like this, just, it's just really, it's really beneath you, guy. So, you know, take what I say, make a video about me if you want, I don't care, that's fine, it'll just give me some views, no big deal, talk about me on Twitter, that's fine too, hey, whatever, you know, I would love the attention, heck, nobody knows who I am, no one gives a crap about who I am, and only five people are probably going to watch this video, but the point is, if you are watching, just know if you're a creator, I get it's hard. It struggles. But people can have a chance to make it. I do believe in that. Maybe not everybody, but I believe if you find a way, you can make a way. If not, for that, enjoy what you love. Most important, enjoy what you love, love what you do. Be kind to one another, and people will do so in kind. Well, that's my PSA for the day, and till next time, everybody, game on. Yeah, and I don't care if you subscribe or whatever, it's not a big deal, like, 